From our Chicago studios, this is the Muslim News on Muslim Network TV. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Samana Siddiqui. Our top story tonight, an escalation in the conflict between Israel and Palestinian groups in Gaza has resulted in at least 765 Palestinians killed, including 143 children and 105 women, along with 900 Israeli deaths. More than 4,000 Palestinians and 2,600 Israelis have been wounded. This comes after Hamas initiated Operation Al-Aqsa Flood. It began in response to Israeli settlers storming Al-Aqsa Mosque under Israeli police protection over the last few weeks, as well as rising Israeli settler violence. Israel has retaliated with Operation Swords of Iron targeting Gaza. While Israel claims its strikes are aimed at military installations of the Hamas and Islamic Jihad groups, the Gaza-based Interior Ministry says the targets were primarily civilian residences. Amid the devastation, the UN Commission of Inquiry has voiced concerns, suggesting clear evidence of potential war crimes committed by both sides. Human Rights Watch has also criticized the Israeli Defense Minister's declaration to deprive Gaza of essentials, such as food and electricity, calling it a war crime. Doctors Without Borders says Gaza is on the verge of depleting its medical supplies with concerns centered on surgical equipment and fuel shortages. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas spoke with several Arab leaders, stressing the urgency to cease Israeli aggression on Gaza. Iraqi Foreign Minister Fouad Hussein expressed concern that the conflict might spread to neighboring nations and last another 10 days. Russia's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sergei Lavrov, emphasized the necessity of creating a Palestinian state alongside Israel, in line with UN Security Council resolutions. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi spoke with Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and extended support for the Jewish state. The move reflects a change from the Cold War, when India did not have open relations with Israel and leaned heavily in favor of the Palestinians.